Aquarius, you have the tower in reverse. And at the bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune. It's karma, baby. That's what you don't see coming. That's what this reading is about. Somebody is getting ready to get their karma. What goes around comes around. This tower here being in the reverse, this is somebody else. You may have been thinking that this person wasn't going to get what was coming to them. But I'm here to tell you that it's about to happen. And you're about to get a front row seat. Aquarius, please, before we get started, hit that like button. Subscribe. I upload almost daily. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing over here. Don't forget to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and your Mercury retrograde reading for a deeper look into your situation. This person's situation, if you figure out who this is, to see what's really going on with them, right? And I am available for personal readings if you'd like more detail. Um, that information to book that with me is all in the description box. Aquarius, you also have the Nine of Cups. Could be any water sign. Could be a Scorpio. Scorpio, Aries, energy with the Tower. Aquarius, you. Um, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, energy in the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Cups, like I said, ooh, big Sagittarius showing up here with the Temperance card. Because you were patiently waiting. Patiently waiting to see this. Oh, waiting for that apology with this Page of Cups. Mm, mm, mm. And the Death card. Let's talk about all this water that we see here. Scorpio energy. Now, if you were dealing with a Scorpio... Aquarius, you should just go ahead and let us know down below. Scorpio, Aries here. Scorpio here. Water with the Page of Cups. Water with the Nine of Cups. A little bit of water in that Wheel of Fortune. Temperance here, which is fire, passion. We see water in this Temperance card right here underneath this person's feet. This is something that is very emotional for you, this, the, this entire situation. But it's coming back. That Nine of Cups... This person acting like they're, you know, harmonious and balanced, but they owe you this apology. And that's because they kept doing the same thing over and over again with this death card here in the reverse, repeating the cycle and not learning any lessons. See what they did to you, they did to somebody else. What this fell out, oh, and they're sad boots about it. This person is going through a very, very, very hard time right now. Maybe up at the bar on a regular basis, drinking themselves into a stupor about this situation. Because whatever this is that's hitting, it's hitting. Aquarius, underneath this that fell out is all oh, the nine of swords. Yeah, that anxiety and the stress that they put on you, Libra. Excuse me, not Libra. I just did the Libra reading. Forgive me. Aquarius has been flipped onto them. This is a plot twist. Plot twist for the ages. The Queen of Swords. Somebody coming forward and demanding the truth. Having proof here with this Queen of Swords. This is an exposure. That's why they're sweating. That's why this person is sweating and can't sleep at night. Look at how stressed this person is. Holding their chest. Drinking themselves to sleep here. Hoping to get some peace because they know an ex I, this is an exposure. Somebody's about to lay out the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth with this queen of swords. Mm, mm, mm. Messing with the wrong one, playing these games. Yeah, these love games, the fake love, the foolishness. This has to do with somebody playing games. You know who played you, Aquarius, who was playing these games. Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, that lack of commitment. This may even be somebody who stole from you, Aquarius. Mess with your money. Could be an earth sign per person, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But this speaking to a lack of commitment for some. Maybe this is somebody who refused to commit to you and play this game with the wrong one. Hmm. Or their lack of commitment was the issue here.
And this has to do with the betrayal, the five of pentacles. What's this betrayal? Let's get into this before we get into this nine of cups. So we know how this person is coming. Okay, this, this, yeah. There's a betrayal that's getting, it's a betrayal. They did this to you and now it's about to come out here. This eight of swords, this is somebody being, feeling suffocated by their lies. With consumed with the thoughts of what's about to be exposed here. Look at this, the eight and the nine. Yeah. Sleepless nights, they've had plenty. Yeah. For sure, no question. So a betrayal, these lies coming out, this exposure, the five of swords, again, a defeat, these lies, a lot of chaos and conflict. What else? What is this betrayal? Because they, they know what it is. They're being cowardly about it, but this speaks, this speaks to somebody who was all caught up in their ego. All caught up in their ego. It was all about them. All the time. It was their way or the highway here. And they were doing something very low vibrational and underhanded. Mm, 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 mm. Three, third parties. Messy party of three. This is that. Three of cups, third parties. Oh, oh, this person was just being a hoe. Two of swords. All the, yeah, people being blindsided by this truth and the confusion. Some of these people were just out here fulfilling their fantasies. Ooh, this star, Aquarius, this is your energy. But this is also the, the universe putting you in alignment. Notice these moons and all this air energy, right? You showing up here, clear in the confusion. This could be the Mercury retrograde. This could be that Scorpio moon that we have, that full moon, that eclipse, energy exposing some things, bringing things to the surface. But this person was being thirsty, doing the most. I feel like they were very out for themselves. We see the fool card here in the reverse. Oh yeah, they were out for themselves. Had their head in the clouds out here trying to fool people and now they're looking like a fool. A fool, a freaking fool. A mess. This has to do with third parties. They and it's me, it's su, and it's super messy. When this comes out, it's almost newsworthy. This is a public humiliation. <laughs> mm. This is getting caught with your pants down with this knight of swords. This is the glove fits. We see the breadcrumbs here, the proof that some the shovel in the background, the mud on the yes. So it's not even like this is going to even be rumors, people. This is going to be all the tea that's going to burn your tongue plus the receipts, plus the damning evidence. This is taking the cheaters to Mori and then falling for the ugly, sexy decoys. This is that. Whoa. Aquarius, you dodged a bullet. And now it's all coming out. It's all coming out. See, they were hiding behind these little lies here. Mm -mm. Somebody knows. This Nine of Cups. This person comes off as very emotionally balanced and giving here, but really, they're a taker. This is somebody who sucks the energy out of other people. We see this high priestess here in the river. Yeah, because these secrets are getting ready to come out. This is... This is somebody with a double life here. Come on, focus. Why are you doing me like this, camera? There we go. The high priestess. Secrets coming out. Yeah. That they're very dark. That when you go below the surface, with beneath the surface with this individual, things are not as squeaky clean as they seem. The 10 of cups, yeah. They're emotionally fulfilled over here. I don't think so. This person is miserable. And that's why they do this stuff. 
and they're, and they're definitely miserable right now with all with all this stuff going down. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups, breadcrumbing, making these commitments all over the place. This being right next to that Queen of Swords. Oh yeah, somebody's exposing the breadcrumbing. Somebody's exposing the fact this person may have some financial issues or they was using people for money. Oof. This is a straw that breaks the camel's back. This betrayal, them being messy with these third parties, doing them, flexing and finessing folks, got them effed up. This is being exiled. <laughs> this is being sent away. This person may be freaking homeless here. It may be an Aries, but this person, and with that king of wands, this person very attractive and it may be their good looks that are getting them into trouble Aquarius this is somebody who likes control who likes to be in the driver's seat could be a man could also be a woman creating their own narrative but this 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 is about control this is this person losing all control right about now Mm -hmm. this temperance you are patiently waiting we see that here could be a Sagittarius but this really speaks to balance being restored this falling into my lap the two of cups mm -hmm. <laughs> we see the two two glasses here and that temperance card and the two cups here this is you just waiting for you know the other ball to drop this may even be you celebrating with close friends about this tower moment or the fact that this person is going through that karma. You and the fellas or you and your girls getting together and talking about this. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody getting their stories together, showing the screenshots here. Oh, because it's all coming out. This is exactly how this gets exposed. There are some people, some friends that get together and they're talking about this and comparing notes. And that's how this person gets exposed with this Ace of Wands. That's what, that's the candle that sheds light on all this. This person was probably sending text messages to people while they were with one of, one of the other people that they were involved with. Oh yeah, at the same damn time. The Seven of Wands here. Because this person is going to have to defend themselves. Because somebody's shining a light on them and these deceptions. Queen of Swords, that Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're going to have to defend themselves. The Six of Cups. About this mess, these proposals. We see these two young children here. We see these little demons up here in the sky and these little options. Yeah. Spreading their little cups of love everywhere with this other party. They were in love with everybody. Just too many betrayals to count with this Ten of Swords. This also lets me know with this person in this chimney that somebody's going to go into hiding over this. This person's going to go ghost. You're not going to see from them. You're not going to hear from them. People are going to be driving past their house and calling and texting them to see if they're okay after this gets thrown out here. And they're not going to be answering their phone. The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to apologize for wasting your time here with this Four of Pentacles. For keeping some things close to their chest. Right? For acting like they were starting something solid and stable with you. Something new in love. When really they were just building this foundation based on some... Straight up and down lies. The seven of pentacles, right? Planting seeds, getting in what you put out. This person may blame the fact that they were smoking or drinking for some of these problems. Oh, is that what it was? Trying to explain some things away. Oh, this person is going to come back. 
<laughs> and try to apologize for lying to you in the past with this apology. And then talking about the seeds that they planted with you and building on it. Asking for your forgiveness here with this judgment card. Because everything's been revealed. Everything's all come to the surface here. We got the judgment card, the wheel of fortune, and the tower. This is a mess. They're a mess. They're an emotional mess. We see this judgment and the card before it of the major arcana, the sun, Sagittarius and Leo energy. This is positive, whether it's up right side up or in the reverse. But this is things being illuminated and we see things coming out here. But this is really illuminating the fact that this person cannot be trusted. That again, they repeat these cycles. They do not change with that death card in the reverse. They're emotionally unavailable, emotionally aloof, and they're a floater. They burn their bridge here with you, so they went somewhere else. Then they burn that bridge over there doing the same stuff, playing these games, being messy, and now they're trying to come back here before they have to move on and find somebody else because they've already established something with you with that Seven of Pentacles. This is about comfort because they're going through it. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. See, they got exposed. This may affect them at work, financially. This may affect their business. This breakup, they may not financially be able to live on their own. They're going through it. This is them writing down a budget, trying to figure it all out here. More earth energy could be dealing with a Capricorn with this Queen of Pentacles. which speaks to somebody being very solid and stable, being put through it and still persevering. This person sees you as solid and stable and they see you as the more stable option. And that's why they're coming back. So you're about to find out about the drama and this person's gonna be reaching out to you, apologizing, wanting to know if they can come back there. So you just need to keep your distance. Watch from afar, get your binoculars ready. The Six of Swords, because they want to move on to calmer waters with you, Aquarius. Wow. Wow, wow. Just like that? Like nothing ever happened? They've always been keeping an eye on you. You've always been on their mind here with this Page of Swords. That's what they're going to be saying. Ace of Swords coming with this new communication here, talking about how they want to come at you with the truth. With this Ace of Swords, you know, yeah, I had some options here. And yeah, I was being manipulative and deceptive with the Seven of Cups. Moon here, moon here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was being sloppy and didn't tie up these loose ends before I moved on. Whether that was cheating on you or stealing from you. Yeah. Yeah, now they want to come back and apologize. Now they got time. Now they can respond to your messages. Because they are broke as a damn joke here with this Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse. Broke. Don't have anything to offer. Refusing to change. Mm, mm, mm. Eight of Cups here. Yeah, because they're not walking away from anybody. People are walking away from them with this Eight of Cups. Leaving them behind. They're trying to figure out where they're going to go, where they're going to sleep tonight. Because they're single as a dollar bill right now and they don't want to be nine of pentacles, Virgo energy in the reverse. They do not want to be single. And they got the nerve to try and show up at your door with, with animals too. Mm, mm, mm. You know what to do, Aquarius. Gemini, Aries energy here with the magician. You manifesting some things, maybe manifesting this karma. Maybe this is exactly how you wanted it or thought it would play out. But this, you having all the tools necessary to stay out of this. Woo! Again, keep your distance. Because there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on here. A lot of deception. Somebody will try to pull you into this. Mm, mm, mm. 
last card and we're gonna be out the queen of cups here listen this is an emotional manipulator you're dealing with for some of you this is the type of person that you know you can't respond to their text messages and you for sure can't meet up with them in person that they would manipulate you and deceive you and you might be back in a relationship with this person again yeah oh yeah they would get a victory with you if you meet them because of the manipulations they know they're charming they're good looking addictive just say no to drugs kids aquarius that's all that is it that's what you don't see coming is they're about to get theirs period point blank please aquarius family and cross watchers hit that like button for me i appreciate it more than you know subscribe i upload almost daily hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything Check out your placement sun, moon, rising, Venus videos and your Mercury retrograde to see what is going on. Get a full picture of what's going on or what's to come. And um, reach out to me for a personal reading on Instagram or via my email, which are both down in the description box. An Aquarius family, I will be checking in on you soon. Keep it 100.